Aw oh, yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and I've got an awesome remote to show you today. This is the E-Gray AK64. This is my favorite Android mini remote that I've used so far. It's nice and small, it's got a microphone system that works well, and even a basic gamepad on it. It comes with its own 700 milliamp rechargeable lithium battery, and an RF dongle with about 30 feet of range. First off, the gyroscope has increased resolution now, which basically means it's going to be a lot easier to use. For example, the increased resolution makes it typing on an on-screen keyboard much easier than on previous remotes. Let's take a look at the buttons on the remote. You've got three different modes. You've got pointer mode, game mode, and microphone mode. Over here, this button selects between game mode and mouse pointer mode. Put it in game mode to turn off the mouse cursor. And up here, you've got the microphone input mode button. It's got a multi-directional pad for using in programs like XBMC. And then it's also got a back button, which you'll use all the time. And of course, it's got a laser pointer on it like all great remotes do these days. The left mouse button is underneath the remote like a trigger, and it's actually the perfect place for it because your finger just naturally goes there, so it makes it really easy to use. The volume buttons work great, but I couldn't get the power button or menu button to work much like a lot of these remotes for these Android mini PCs. But that might be able to be fixed with a different Android mini PC or different software installed. Also the controller buttons just type keys like X, Y, A, and B, so I think you need an app like Game Keyboard or USB Joystick Center 6 to get it working. I'll add updated information in the video description when it becomes available, so please share what works best for you in the comments below. On the bottom is your mini USB charging port, and up on top you've got your microphone. Let's go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you how it handles. So just put it in a free USB slot and you are ready to go. This is running on my Minix X5, so you can see it's got a larger than normal cursor that they just installed with the latest firmware, and it works awesome. The, the mouse movement is really fluid and uh, rock solid too, it doesn't, doesn't lag at all, especially on the X5. So here I wanted to show what it would be like to do a photo slideshow with this remote. So it's really easy to use, just pick a picture, you can hit the joystick buttons, they'll zoom in on the picture, and then you can use the motion sensor again to, to move around on that zoomed in picture. Also dragging from one picture to the next works great with this remote. This remote also makes surfing YouTube from your couch super easy. It's easy to get around, and if you have to do any long searches, you can use the speech-to-text function. By the way, if you want to use speech-to-text, be sure you're using Jelly Bean 4.1 or higher. Older versions of Android didn't handle speech-to-text very well. Also, it seems like the faster your Android Mini is running, the better your voice-to-text works. Now I'll show you how well voice search works on this remote. Dolphin Browser the great thing about having a wireless mic that's always on like this is that you can finally use Skype from your couch with good quality audio. I set up a test with my son on the iPad and me on the big screen TV and it worked out awesome. I'll Joel up on Skype and see him on the big screen like this, it'll be awesome. Here's how the voice to text capability works. I'd say it's good enough for a sentence, but a paragraph you're going to have some grammar errors. Search google.com Search for tomshardware.com Search for ESPN.com. .com. This is a test of the eGrey AK64 remote control. Putting the AK64 in game mode rotates the directional pad so that it's the right way to hold it sideways and play a game. I got Alpha Wave to work with the controller the way the makers intended to. But I think that if you want to play more complicated games, you're going to need to get a, a button mapping software like uh, USB Joystick Center 6 or Game Keypad. If gaming is your main interest, I still think your best bet is to get an Xbox controller or PS3 controller and plug it in. Still, for everything else, this remote is awesome. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It's my daily remote I use when I'm not using a mouse. It just works really good. By the way guys, I've been running everything you saw here today on the Mini X Neo X5. They got a new ROM for it in the beginning of April and it's awesome. It's super fast, nice and smooth, it runs this remote great, voice to text works awesome with the remote in the Mini X uh, X5. I'll put a link to it in the video description below. And again, the remote is the eGrey AK64. And it's kind of hard to find on the net right now, but I'll put a link to it as well. If you like a nice, small, yet powerful remote, trust me, you can't go wrong with this one. 
Alright guys, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you updated with Android Mini PC reviews and tech reviews. And uh, give me a like on this video. It'll really help me out a ton if you can just hit that little thumbs up button down there if you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and aloha.